right, so now Christina is up from her nap. We have her on the ventilator still, circuit attached. Um, so I'm about to put her back on her diaphragmatic pacers. So Christina has a cuffed trait to minimize the leak that she has around her stoma. So before you put on the pacers, you want all the water out. Her cuff is completely deflated. So I'm take all that water out. Um, and I showed you earlier the antennas, so they're still taped onto her abdomen. So you can see on either side, they're centered over the receiver that's internal underneath her skin. Um, there's not a lot of real estate down here. She's got such a little tummy and her G button, but we just make sure that they're centered over the receiver. And then you can see the antenna cords right here. Okay, I'll put your shirt down. Okay. And so we just take the, the cords here. We have a little marker on here. This is the right side. So this is on her right side right here. So you just match this up on the transmitter box. So you want to see the right side, which is right here. And so you plug it in and then here's the left. So I'll plug in the left. So this is all ready to go in your back cap. So we just have this test lung, so I can plug this onto the circuit um, as I'm turning on the pacers, just so the vent doesn't constantly alarm at me. And then here's her HME2. So basically, we just take it off, turn them on with the two switches. You can see the red buttons flashing, indicating that there is power. And you can see her stomach kind of expand and contract. I put my hands on here so I can actually feel the electrical impulses going so I know that both of the pacers are working, both the left and the right side. So we'll put her HME on. So right now I still have her on her CO2 monitor um, and her pulse ox on her foot so that way I can make sure that everything's going okay with her pacing. So here's her little monitor right here. So her CO2 is 42 right now. Respiration rate is 26. That's what the pacers are set at. O2 is great, she's at 99, heart rate's good. So this looks pretty good to me, so what I can do is now I'll just turn off the ventilator. Get this out of here. And I can take her off of her monitors because I know she's good. Each of me just goes directly onto her trait. And the cuff. Take her full socks off. out of the way and that's about it so I'll just put the backpack on her so that way she can go around and be mobile here sister you done all done water you say bye bye phone bye bye phone bye bye phone okay here's daddy let's stand up and put on your backpack oh yeah yes let's put on your backpack hold on ready let's see can I have this arm thank you and now this arm. Thank you. Hold on, you guys. If you up, the first will snap. Say snap. Snap. Oh. All right. Now let's turn around and put it in your cords. So you can see, kind of, the cords are a little too long, but kind of just wrap them up a little bit and zip them up into the backpack. So everything's kind of contained in here. Hold on, you. Wait, wait, wait. But you're done. You're free. Where are you going to go? Let's go this way. Come on. Let's go get sister. Where's Gaga? Come on. Say, Gaga, where are you? Come on. here. Come on. Let's get her. Hey, Gaga. Can we do a puzzle with you? Yeah. Can we get up here and see what she's doing? Okay. Up here on the chair? So now with her little backpack on, she's completely 100% mobile, independent, free, gets to come up here with big sister and do puzzles and just run around like a normal kiddo. She just has a little bit of backpack on her. This unit doesn't weigh that much. It's maybe a pound, pound and a half. And it also, it runs on nine volt batteries and you change them out every 15 days, just twice a month, but it's, you know, it's a pretty good system. Um, Mom, you know, I works really well for her and she's really, 
taken off since she's been able to, to run around and do a lot more normal things. Go, sister, go. Can you say bye-bye? Say bye-bye. Blow a kiss. No. You blow a kiss? Here, let's say bye-bye. Oh, okay. He's going to run off. All right, so that's the diaphragmatic breathing face-making system.